Welcome to Pakistan. My name is Travel Tom Tom and I am here in Karachi and I've been traveling around the country for the last years and finally after three times in Pakistan I came up with this guide for buying a SIM card in Pakistan. As you can see international arrivals uh, but I walked all the way to the left and all the way to the right where's a domestic terminal and nowhere I can find a place to buy a SIM card. Yeah, damn, I guess I give up uh, trying to buy a SIM card for tourists at Karachi Airport. Uh, yeah, Jinnah International Airport. Where is your SIM card service for tourists? There's also no Wi-Fi for tourists. Trust me, I will find a SIM card for tourists in Pakistan. Hello, you sell uh, SIM cards for tourists also or no? No. Only uh, for local people? Yeah. Uh, not possible with passport, huh? Okay, okay. Thank you. In many other countries in Asia, you will find all these little SIM card and like, phone shops on the streets, but not so many in Pakistan, to be honest. Anyway, for tourists, it doesn't matter anyway, because in Pakistan, you cannot buy a SIM card on the streets. You will have to go to an official franchise shop or store of one of the four mobile internet providers here in Pakistan. And unlike in every other country around the world, in Pakistan, there phone shops are not in the mall. So I was here in a big mall here in Karachi and there's no Jazz, there's no Telenor, there's no U phone. Yeah, it's just not here. So uh, I gotta find them somewhere else. And the easiest way to find these franchise phone stores is to literally go on Google Maps, type it in and then locate the nearest one uh, next to you. There is Jazz. Jazz is uh, regarded one of the biggest mobile internet providers here in the country. And uh, Brian and I, my friend, we are going to try to buy a SIM card. Yeah, before you go into these shops, they make you hop, go in there, go through security. You're ready to get your Pakistani SIM card, Brian? Fuck yeah, it's about time. Yeah, just left the jazz shop and jazz. I was here before, uh, two weeks ago, and I bought quickly a SIM card and I bought a postpaid SIM card of Jazz because they made me buy one. They said prepaid is gonna be complicated anyway. It's bullshit, you can buy a prepaid SIM card, it's just more work for the lady. Plus, I found out that postpaid SIM cards of Jazz are just way more expensive than prepaid SIM cards. So basically, the girls did a massive sales trick. She made me pay at least seven to eight times more than I should have paid. And plus, I got postpaid from Jazz, which I was very, not satisfied with so yeah am i actually recommending jazz to you guys they have the best network but i'm very on the fence because all my experiences were shit uh she made me pay way more uh yeah so far another one is a u phone thank you yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm just gonna have the information yeah this is a u phone they're urging me also to get a postpaid SIM card for Pakistan because the data bundles are much bigger than they get up to 20 gigabytes. Uh, but yeah, for the prepaid SIM cards, which I recommend, it's five gigabytes for a thousand. That is six dollars, and that's actually the biggest package they have. So yeah, and on top of that, the SIM card costs 250, but that's actually a little over one dollar. And another mobile internet operator of the four big ones is Zong. They say a new dream, let's see. Friend, he just went in because uh, at the jazz shop, uh, they had problems again. As you can see, uh, I had a lot of problems with jazz. Uh, he went in to buy a SIM card with jazz uh, because jazz is one of the best networks. It didn't work because uh, jazz had uh, internet problems and they say come back in uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after. No, it's not, we cannot come back tomorrow. I want internet now. Yeah, there's always something. So also here at the Zong, but at least you have a SIM card, right? I do, at least have a fucking SIM card. It's working, yeah. kind of, but guys, <laughs> it's a good reminder. If you're going to buy a SIM card, in Pakistan you should not only bring your passport, but also- you bring your visa too. Your visa, indeed. Uh, you had to come back because last time I forgot to come up with the conclusion about Zong. My friend bought a SIM card, but the same as in the jazz shop, they said they could only give tourists with a passport, a postpaid SIM card and not a prepaid SIM card. Uh, strange, but yeah, we, we tried, but it didn't work. 
for the registration of a song SIM card you pay 250 rupees and then they have four post paid packages to choose from the cheapest one is around 670 rupees and the most expensive one is 3360 rupees and last but not least, there is a Telenor. Okay, so it was right in time because the shop is closing. To make it really nice and complicated is that Telenor only allows customers with a passport, so foreigners and tourists, to register a prepaid SIM card. A postpaid SIM card is not allowed to register on a passport. This is completely the opposite as Jazz and Zong. Uh, if you compare the prices, of Telenor with the ones from Zong and Jazz and you come to the simple conclusion that they actually have a really good prepaid SIM card deals for tourists here in Pakistan. 10 days of traveling in Pakistan and I used 15 gigabyte and I got the message from Jazz saying you run out of gigabytes but I thought I bought 35 gigabyte Jazz. Incredibly annoying so yeah I gotta go back in line here I go into the office and get it fixed. Uh, problems, uh, problems, problems, problems. When I arrived in Karachi and I wanted to buy my SIM card, uh, they told me as a tourist you could only get a post-paid SIM card, not a prepaid SIM card. And I was like, well, okay, if you want to, I'd rather have prepaid because then you pay, you get your gigabytes and done. No, no, so I have postpaid. Uh, it's not the end of the month yet. So I ran out of data that I was gifted. And now I have to wait three days until I get my 35 gigabyte again. And I'm like, no, 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 that's, I don't want it to work like this. Uh, too complicated. So please guys, when you buy a Pakistan SIM card, wherever you go uh, in uh, Karachi, in Lahore or Islamabad, make sure you have a prepaid SIM card and not a postpaid SIM card because it is possible. The Shana deal here, he told me, yes, you can buy a prepaid SIM card for tourists here in Pakistan. And in Karachi, they told me it was not possible. So insist you get a prepaid SIM card. After another month traveling in Pakistan, I'm here, international departures back in Karachi airport. I'm leaving the country, resting me to come up with a conclusion about what is actually the best prepaid SIM card here in Pakistan. Well, I already said it kind of because Zong is not offering any prepaid SIM cards for tourists, only postpaid. I definitely do not recommend Zong. New phone has pretty much the smallest mobile internet network that leaves us down to Telenor and Jazz. Well, I had so many problems with Jazz, but I have to put my pride aside. Jazz, I regard as the best prepaid SIM card to travel around here in Pakistan. And for the simple reason that they have the best mobile internet network, they have fast internet and I traveled all the way from Quetta overland to Sukkur, from Sukkur all the way north to Lahore and all the way everywhere in the motorway, I everywhere had a 4G signal. So when it comes down to the performance of the 4G signal, the mobile internet of Jazz, I must say, uh, yeah, they did a pretty good job. I can add to that though, that if you stay only in Karachi, in Islamabad or in Lahore, Dela Telenor prepaid SIM card for Pakistan will do the job just as good. Anyway, I'm about to leave Pakistan again. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for everything. I'm off Pakistan. I will be back.